If you're a heat and nursing technician or even a salesperson, what are some conditions you should add to your contract and why does it matter? This is a super important question. I'm Scott Sullivan Bell. I'm coming to you live for HVAC Technician Sales Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. So uh, I want to talk to you today about over communication. Right? You're like, really? Over communication? Yeah, absolutely. So here's the thing you are going to sit down with a buyer or client and they are going to be very good at negotiating. Um, they're going to talk to you about everything. They're going to get all the things that they want, which, okay, fine. It happens sometimes in life. It happens sometimes in business. That's not what I'm going to talk to you about today. Sometimes you meet with a client and they seem super happy. They're very eager to buy. They buy quickly. And, uh, you know, you get your product delivered. You get your product uh, on the way. You get it installed. And a uh, buyer, said buyer, whoever it is, man, woman, dude, chick, bro, babe, doesn't matter, uh, super aggressive negotiator, non-aggressive negotiator, calls you up. Hey, sales dude, sales chick. Yeah, you know, I, I was thinking, you know, I, I did pay 50 grand for my widget or my gizmo, but um, I want a better deal. So uh, I have had this happen to me. I have, in my life of sales, you know, I've been doing sales since the early 2000s, I've had things go sideways. And so, you know, uh, I started making very clear notes on proposals and agreements and, and having people either initial next to them or note it, okay? So I went and saw a law enforcement dude just north of Sacramento one time, and I sold him a furnace, and we had talked about price. And what I didn't do was I didn't write down the terms of the financing. And in his mind, there was some ridiculous terms that they didn't even have. I didn't even have the ability to do it. Let's just say it was like 2.99% financing. And the lowest I have was 599. This is back in the day. So what I started doing on all my agreements was writing down the terms, which now is a legal requirement in California. If you live outside of California, welcome to the party, pal. So like I would put 120 times 2.99 equals payment, right? So I'd always make a note of the payment. I always make like, hey, person's paying with credit card. Hey, person's paying with a check. Hey, person's using XYZ financing company under X plan with these terms, right? So you're like, Scott, really? That's what you're bringing to the table? I'm going to give you a yes and. But before I do that, you should join my email. I'll give you the goods. Not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel, which means private coaching, private training, discounted coaching, discounted training, some cool stuff. So uh, one important line to add is all discounts and promotions have been applied okay and so here's what's going to happen is buyer dude chick bro babe's going to call you up and go hey sales dude sales chick um you know i was just surfing the web and i just saw that there's an opportunity here for me to get financing there's an opportunity here for me to get x amount of dollars off right and so you you could explain that the promotions have been applied and it doesn't always solve your problem it doesn't always fix the issues that you have i'm just going to tell you that right now <clears throat> it solves about 50 percent of them so if you can solve about 50 percent of your problems is it worth you for you to spend about 45 seconds writing out or having it pre-typed on your agreements hey you know all discounts have been applied here's the terms here's what's going on now the reason i bring this up is i'm not an attorney doctor marriage counselor therapist or accountant gotta get that out of the way but i am a taco enthusiast it does help if you've got to go to the legal route it does help if there's an issue like anything that you can notate on your agreement that really spells out terms may help you and if you've got questions hire an attorney right sometimes it's worth the three four five six seven hundred bucks an hour that you're gonna to have to pay an attorney to figure out what's going on and it really does help your ability to close some deals and and there inevitably there is always somebody who is going to come to you and say, hey, you know, uh, sales dude, sales chick, what what is going on? I thought we agreed to this. I'm like, it's on the agreement. Got your initials right next to it. Oh, oh, okay. You know, everybody, everybody has somebody in their life who can do the deal better, faster, stronger. Then here's what happens is they apply pressure. Hey, oh, you bought a car? I could have bought it for $5,000 less. Oh, you got a furnace? I got a friend who does it for a dollar, which in the industry is mysterious. Oh, you, you sell corporate enterprises and corporate services? I've got somebody who does it for way cheaper. What you're doing is you're just making notes of the deal and making notes of the arrangements. And once again, if you got questions, talk to an attorney. And you're probably wondering, Scott, what's up with all the pistachios? 
during the holidays, I give them to all my vendors, right? Glass jar, throw some pistachios in there. And if you didn't see it, like I've got 25 boxes of pistachios, 25 bags, 25 bags of pistachios that I give away during the holidays. You got one of three things to do from here, just one of three. Find the subscribe button, click on it. And every time I send another video, you'll get an update. Two, uh, hit follow, hit tag, tag, share a video with a friend. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.